Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the progress bar widget in jQuery UI. Now, the progress bar is essentially a, a bar that can contain a specific value and it's filled to that value. So any really normal progress bar you've seen, we're essentially going to sti uh, simulate this in the tutorial. So the first thing I've done is I've included obviously jQuery in jQuery UI as well as this CSS file which is under the UI likeness uh, theme. There's more details on how to install themes, uh, sorry, on how to install uh, jQuery UI in the installing JQ, uh, jQuery UI video I've created in this series. So essentially what we're doing in this tutorial is we're going to be creating a progress bar and then a progress uh, percentage underneath. And that's going to feed back the value that the percentage bar uh, will be currently at. And then when we get to the end of the uh, percentage, i.e. 100%, we're going to stop the progress bar. Now obviously with the progress bar in place, you can't actually create a process on its own. You would have to have some kind of script uh, that would feed back a value of the percentage that it's currently at. For example, a file upload or, or something similar. So you're going to have to actually have something that gives you the value before you implement it into this progress bar. Now obviously because we're just taking a look at the widget itself, we're not actually going to be able to create a, a real percentage um, and we're not going to be able to generate a real percentage from a particular place. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the set interval function and actually create uh, this uh, as an effect rather than an actual function. However, what you will do is you'll learn how to implement the progress bar and also display the feedback based on this. So we're going to be creating a small application that's going to be dealing with this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a button which is going to activate this progress bar from 0 to 100. So let's go ahead and first of all create a button uh, that's going to have a value of let's just say start or let's just uh, call it upload to make it more practical, more look more practical. And the uh, input ID we're just going to have upload uh, just so we can reference this in UI.js, our jQuery or our JavaScript external file. The next thing to do is create a div uh, that's going to handle the actual uh, progress bar itself. So I'm just going to call this PB. And then underneath that, we want a div that's going to uh, relay the percentage uh, of the bar to us. So I'm going to call this percent. OK, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead and create an event handler to handle a particular event, which will be the starting of this progress bar and percentage when we click the upload button. So inside UI.js, we want to go ahead and reference this upload uh, here. So we are creating a selector to select upload. And the event is on click or dot click. So after this, we're going to create a function. And inside here is going to be our function contents. So now once we've clicked this button, we want to actually activate the progress bar. We're first of all going to take a look at how uh, this works um, and how it's implemented. And then we'll look at changing the value uh, dynamically. So to do this, we're going to need to use a selector to select the progress bar div that we created on our page. And we want to apply the progress bar widget to this. OK, so now what that's going to have done is it's going to select, it's going to have create, created a progress bar when we click upload. Let's go ahead and click upload. And you can see that we've created this long, massive progress bar across the page. Now I'm going to go ahead and set a few settings inside style.css, which we have implemented into this page. And that's just going to make everything look a bit nicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the text size of the body. And I'm going to set that, oh sorry, font size. I'm going to set that to 12 pixels. And I'm then going to change the uh, width of this progress bar div as well. So uh, we reference PB. And we set the width here and we'll give it a width of 400 pixels. So now it looks like this. It's slightly smaller and uh, it fits nicely just under here. OK, so um, let's go ahead and change a value of this progress bar to see what it looks like when we actually have it, say, half full. So we can supply um, an option inside of the progress bar widget uh, to allow us to set the value. 
So for now, I'm going to set the value to 50. Now, if the value is set to 50, when we click Upload, this is going to go uh, to halfway because we've defined the value as 50. So now, if you logically think about it, we could set this value here to a uh, to a, a slowly or a, an increasing uh, value. So essentially, what we could do is we could replace this with another variable, for example, val. 